soldiers to be able to tell their stories. The Central Ohio filmmaker and New York author are working together to make sure that some of those stories live on forever. Tomorrow they will be at the Ohio State House for the governor's Holocaust commemoration and today they spoke with our Eric Halperin, told him to talk, rather spoke with them about their story they're working on that you are only going to see on four. And Eric, it was a history project decades in the making that really got all of this going. Jen and Jared, the author was also a high school history teacher. He was working on an oral history project with his students interviewing soldiers from World War II. During one of those interviews, a story and photo of a moment during the Holocaust came up, and that is how this project got started. An iconic photo from April 13th, 1945. An overjoyed woman holding a little girl's hand as they walk towards U.S. soldiers away from a Nazi train they'd just been on. It's one of those things when you when you think about photographs of trains and associate them with the Holocaust, you don't think about people being liberated. You think the exact opposite, people going to their deaths and the cattle cars, etc. This is completely the opposite. U.S. soldiers came across the train as they were on their way to a battle in Germany. Matthew Roselle first learned about the photo when he was interviewing a U.S. soldier as part of an oral history project with his New York State High School students. The soldier was part of the effort to help the thousands of Jews who were on that train. So we have second generation, we have third generation, as Michael alluded to, thousands, tens of thousands of people who just wouldn't be alive if it hadn't been for that moment when the American soldiers stopped and cared. So that's our message to, to the world. Roselle went on to write a book, A Train Near Magdeburg the city the soldiers were going to. No For the past eight one. years, Central Ohio Emmy Award winning director Mike Edwards has been working with Roselle on a documentary. Um, there's no other photograph like it in all the Holocaust. Um, it's one of the most powerful photographs considered of the 20th century. And it was hidden in a shoebox of a soldier's closet for 65 years. But because Matt decided to teach, it came to light. Now, it's about what happened on that day nearly 80 years ago and the months following. It also has reunifications between survivors from the train and those who saved them. 2,500 Jews were on it. Edwards and Roselle just got back from Israel where they interviewed more survivors. One was a 95-year-old woman, the last remaining living survivor of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. She was on the train. And she looked at me and she said, I'm not sure who's going to be left to tell the story. And I reached out and I grabbed her hand and I said, we will. We'll tell it. So that's what keeps us going. It's not a happy ending story. I mean, it is, but it's not. For every one of the 2,500 people liberated on that day, there was another 2,500 people who were murdered in the four and a half years of the Holocaust in Europe. And we have to keep that in mind because, you know, you say never again, but what does that really mean? People don't know the story. People don't know the story of the Holocaust. We need to educate people. And that's the whole point of what Michael and I are trying to do with this, this project. Something happened to you. And the pair says they're doing this because they want to educate people and show how one action can make a huge difference. If you want to support their work, a link is on our website, NBC4i.com, and you can also read a lot more about the stories they've come across, including an incredible reunification digital reporter Sarah Donaldson wrote about. And Jared and Jen, something that these two talked about as they're working on these interviews, they heard them in the story talk about generations of families that are alive today because of what happened that day. When they go into these homes of these survivors, mm -hmm. they see all their family pictures on the wall mm. of all those kids and all those generations that are here yeah. because of what happened nearly 80 years ago. Oh, my gosh. And they're right. I mean, there are so many people who don't know these stories. Even after all of these years, yeah. there's still so much to be told. And, and a it's... photograph. Yeah. yeah. Like pictures. Exactly. Say a thousand words. Yeah. That's it. And, and that author, when he was interviewing that soldier, their interview was almost wrapped up. Mm -hmm. And the soldier's daughter cut in and said, tell them about the train. Oh, my gosh. And that's what led to this. Wow. That's a crazy story. Incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks so Very much, well Eric. Now, Storm Team 4 with Central Ohio's most accurate forecast.